so my first run recording this, I hit the start streaming button, so this is take two. <laughs> but I've used Lutris for quite a while. I've even submitted a pull request for Primus VK for one of the Vulkan offload options for Prime or NVIDIA Prime laptop settings. And I've used it for a bit. It's got, it can be kind of clunky and sometimes the scripts are very outdated. It's provided a lot of features that are very, very useful that I appreciate. A lot of people have talked a lot about Heroic Launcher. When it first came out, they've talked it up a bit and say, hey, it's better than Lutris. And there are a lot of features that Lutris provides that Heroic still doesn't have. And there are some things that Lutris doesn't quite have that Heroic provides. So... First thing you'll notice is that Heroic is kind of built off of Electron for the UI. So you can log into both GOG and Epic in it. It was primarily built for Epic, but they've added GOG in as well. So you've got access to both of those libraries when you log in. One of the cool things too is that you've got access to both stores. So if you are keeping up on your free games on Epic, which you can see that I really haven't because I really haven't had a reason to, then you can do that from right here. You can access the GOG store as well if you log in. It'll log you into the storefront in both cases. So you can access free content, specials, and things like that and look at the storefronts that way. I have to the 2.5 beta installed which is a why it looks different from what you'll see on Flathub or anything provided that way and so there are a few less sections in the settings here because they've kind of put those settings into one section so these are a lot of your general settings you can in 2.5 you can automatically add steam add games to your steam library from by hitting this so from install time it'll add a shortcut and set everything up for you so and i'll kind of show what that looks like on the steam deck ui in particular later on um, you can install enable discord rich presence which is kind of an interesting feature it just kind of depends on the game that you're playing Again, you've got a lot of these settings that are kind of split out in 2.4.3. So when 2.5 comes out, you'll see a lot less. Oh, here's, of course, is your game default. So this will compress everything into what this is, how every game will set up by default. And then, of course, you can tweak it as needed for each game. So when you're looking at at the different wine versions that you have it will actually look for the wine versions that you have already installed so since i have both steam and lutris installed it goes through and looks for every proton version i have and displays them and it can see that since it can see all the lutris versions of wine i have installed it will list those as well if you installed lutris via flat pack then it won't show these because of the sandboxing, of course. It will still show your Proton versions that you have installed from Steam because those aren't quite sandboxed and it can scan those. So, of course, if you're setting it up on your computer and you have a dedicated graphics card you offload to, then you can enable that in game mode and things that way. One cool feature that Lutris has that this doesn't have yet is the VK Voodoo which basically translates those voodoo graphics calls into Vulkan, which for is what a lot of those older games used were the voodoo graphics. So like the old Unreal tournaments would probably, in some cases would rely on voodoo for their graphics calls. And since you have access to the GOG in this, it would be nice to see that feature passed over into this setting so 
with heroic having that would be a really nice feature to kind of get that parody with oh lutris then of course you've got your ex alternative legendary your gog dl and then your epic online services overlay if you really want to set that up your download manager is where it'll of course show previous downloads that have completed or any current downloads it does show you an install down here and i'll kind of show that off so one cool thing i found so if you don't have lutris or steam installed you can of course install different versions of wine so they've got wine glorious egg roll in pretty much all of their iterations and then they have access to wine lutris as well along with proton ge so if you need a specific version of wine to run it or even proton in this case then you should be able to find it it'll be the ge version of course but generally the ge version has more compatibility than valve's official proton version for licensing and commercial reasons the manage accounts tab is of course going to look different from 2.4.3 because theming and changing in some of the ui appearance so the accessibility section is kind of where they have the theming set up so if you are a heretic you of course can of course enable a couple light themes but who does that and then there's of course nord and then dracula for some of you and then here's the old school heroic which is what you're probably going to be used to but uh zombie classic Zombie kind of provides that, oh, kind of gray color, dark gray that I prefer. So, yeah. Um, and then you can enable the theme across the board. You can have a, my heroic, just, what did it do? Just a minor hiccup. So then the other cool thing is you've got access to the documentation right inside the application, of course, too. So you can refer to the documentation, and then there are links to the Coffee and Patreon and Discord if you want to support the project and you really appreciate it. Why it's taking a bit to load up, I have no idea. But it basically pulls up the GitHub documentation, and you can look at that and check the FAQ and things like that from there. So it's all good and dandy that way. So, of course, it has access to your full GOG and Epic library So when you log into both. So I've got a whole slew of games in here. I can filter it down between different storefronts, and I can even add non-GOG and Epic Games to it if I want to. So uh, the install process is actually pretty simple. All you got to do is click this install button here. You can pick your version of Wine. So I could go with, oh, uh, Pro, do, do, do. Um, Lutris, no, we don't need the FS hack. Lutris GE, whatever. So we install the game and it will work on downloading and installing it. So you can see that it shows up down here. Of course, we can collapse the sidebar so it's smaller, but who cares? So if we go to the download manager, it shows us the stats kind of like Steam does. So I will give it a second to finish up the download and install and then come back to it. So real quick, oh, documentation did finally load. Uh, so here you've got a bunch of help on how to do different things, 
DOS box, scum VM, wrappers, things like that. Things to know. So this probably covers what I will cover later on in the video, possibly too. But it gives you a bunch of like helpful things to help you work with oh heroic even on the steam deck so there's that if you need help with that um download's still working so i will be back once that's finished okay so here's what the downloads list looks like complete pretty cut and dry so we go into the library here and what we can do is we can double check all our settings so we've kind of altered a couple things straight from the get-go We've got it set to our dedicated graphics card, which should automatically offload onto my 3050. And we've got game mode enabled, so it should work that way. Oh, we could install Mango or set up Mango HUD to display if we wanted to, but I don't feel like doing that. So all we got to do is hit play now. It'll set up the, white, the prefix, of course, on a first run. Then after that, it should run just fine. So it's just going to take a second. And some of the first run settings might be kind of weird, like low resolution and things like that. That's pretty standard. Slime Rancher did the exact same thing. I had to kind of reset the settings so that it was actually to the proper resolution on steam deck as well so that's one thing to keep in mind is it will kind of might be kind of finicky on some of the games upon first run so let's see it is set to the proper resolution and then so yeah it runs just fine you can see the water looks really nice if we go into the graphics setting it's set to high and then we can go into play and start new game and then we just skip the hunger and thirst settings so like i i think i mentioned is that one quirk I noticed on Steam Deck is that I had to run the game first in Heroic. Okay, come on, game. Dusty. Ow. So I had to run the game in, oh, Heroic first to kind of get all the pre-run stuff going. And then I could, I double-checked it inside of Steam and Desktop mode on deck. And... Then after that, so I ran, oh, the game in desktop mode as well after the fact in order to double check that it would run just fine. And then it ran just fine in the Steam Deck UI. So on the Steam Deck, you may have to do that thing, get it to set up the wine pr prefix first, or proton prefix, and then it'll run for you after that. Thank you, game. Okay, let's save and get out. It actually runs pretty well considering, like, I think... Oh, thank you, game. So, um, now we will transition over to Steam Deck. 
so that I can show you kind of what that looks like and how they set it up and how Heroic actually sets up the game as an on-Steam game. Okay, so I've got Heroic installed on my deck here. Um, real quick, I have set up one game on here, and that's about it. Slime Rancher, of course. I do appreciate that they do make sure to add, like, the banner and everything else, too. So you've got the... If I go back to home, you've got the full banner properly in the Steam Deck UI. I'm showing it here first before going to the desktop mode to kind of give you an idea of what the result is kind of going to look like. So it starts up just fine. Um, one thing I will note later on about it that I had issues with. So at first when I tried running it, it didn't quite run. I will go over the details of what I kind of had to do, and I maybe other people have gone over it with Heroic specifically on deck as well. But they do have the UI pretty well fully fleshed out for Slime Rancher, Rancher if you're installing it through Heroic and setting it up that way. Controls work just fine. I've got the normal mouse setup and things like that. I haven't fully edited the config to my liking because I like to use the back paddles, but let us get into desktop mode. Oh, that's so wonderful. <laughs> Tried to unfocus, I think, for a second there. So give it a second to... Okay, thank you for my mouse. Let's see... Heroic. So I do have... So there are some games on here that I've had issues with, like Valhalla doesn't exactly run for some reason on deck. I, it's probably more or less a library issue. Oh, I might have to set it to do native libraries, but I think that, yeah, that just denotes an update. So what I had to do in order to get Slime Rancher to run is, oh, I had to go into the settings, and then I made sure, so I've got a version of Wine installed, and then I just used Proton that comes in Steam. And that was about it. To make sure that it would work, what I had to do was actually run the game first in Heroic and then go into Steam. I double checked that it would in Steam and desktop mode. And then it'll run just fine in the deck UI. So when messing with Heroic on the Steam Deck, you might have to like do a first run on desktop mode in order to get the game to properly set up and then you can go from there and then run it just fine in Steam. So like Valhalla, we'll see if it starts up actually. Maybe. Doesn't seem to want to. Yeah, I don't know. Haven't quite gotten this to work in Heroic, or anything really. Again, like in this version of it that is available in Flathub, they've got all the stuff here, rather than having some of the stuff automatically for you. So. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that, and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my, my streaming stuff. Links are all in the description.
places, and I will see you guys later.